In this question, we want to find the average velocity over the time interval uh, 2, 4 and 3, 4. Okay. Here is the displacement. In fact, this S as a function of T. And these are the time intervals 2, 4 and 3, 4. We want to find the average velocity. Okay, so part A average velocity that's given by V velocity average is given by the slope of second line okay over 2 4 okay and how do we find this slope of second line is the rise over run run means change in time in this case so let's find on over the interval 2 4 so that's t1 t2 it's like if you can write t2 minus t1 that's change in times that's the run rise means the corresponding heights or positions corresponding positions in this case corresponding displacements yes t2 minus yes t1 okay that's the formula for average velocity so that's 4 minus 2 and the displacement at 4 minus displacement at 2 which is evaluate the displacement at 4 so simply plug in 4 here yes 4 just replace t by 4 if you replace t by 4 yes 4 that comes out to be 2 and for the second one we replace yes 2 t by 2 yes 2 that comes out to be 2 as well okay let's go back and complete this problem yes 4 that's 2 yes 2 is also 2 so there is no rise in fact 0 and the run is 4 minus 2 is 2 so 0 over 2 is just 0 0 meter per second that's the average velocity over the first interval and that's let me write oh, average velocity over 2 4 and next average velocity over 3 4 v f don't have to write if you don't like the average velocity is rise over run run means change in time so 4 minus 3 and corresponding displacements on the top so yes 4 minus yes 3 which is 4 minus 3 is 1 yes 4 evaluate this yes at 4 which is 2 and minus yes at 3 evaluate s at 3 so yes 3 replace t by 3 that comes out to be 1 okay now yes 4 is 2 minus yes 3 is 1 2 minus 1 is just 1 over 1 is 1 1 that's meter meter per second okay that's part a in part b we are supposed to find the instantaneous velocity instantaneous velocity when t equals 4 okay so that will be the instantaneous velocity there is a formula okay that's the definition one or equation two so we need to use one of them because the velocity is the rate of change of displacement same thing as slope of tangent line okay so we want to find the velocity at t equals 4 that is given by the slope of tangent line and the formula is limit of limit as x goes to a let me write over the formula that's limit f x minus f a over x minus a as x goes to a okay a means the time t equals 4 in this case so t tends to 4 and the function is yes so it doesn't matter s t not x minus s 4 over t minus 4 okay we want to evaluate this limit 
and we get the velocity instantaneous velocity when t equals 4 okay let's evaluate this limit t going to 4 t minus 4 on the bottom s of t that's the function given function which is t square minus 60 plus 10 minus s4 the displacement at 4 that we found s4 equals 2 let's simplify limit t going to 4 t minus 4 that's the formula t minus 4 on the top let's simplify so we have t square minus 60 plus 10 minus 2 that's plus 8 now we want to evaluate this limit if we plug in t equals 4 we're gonna get uh, 16 minus 24 plus 8 16 plus 8 24 minus 24 0 over 0 okay that means we cannot simply plug in t equals 4 and get the evaluate the limit okay so we need to cancel the zero making factor from top and bottom the bottom is already simplified so t minus 4 the top is a trinomial so we can factor is a product of two binomials t squared t t 4 sorry 8 4 times 2 8 and 4 into make 6 so it will be negative negative 4 negative 2 and t minus 4 t minus 4 cancel now replace t by 4 so 4 minus 2 is 2 so 2 and this is the velocity so meter per meters per second that's the instantaneous velocity at t equals 4.